Hey, hey, this is Tim Wolf. I'm on tour and last night I was in the greater Austin area at a restaurant and I played outside. They have outside dining as well as inside and played on this wonderful stage. The, the food was amazing, the staff was amazing, the weather was incredible. The, the only uh, learning experience for me was there were a lot of kids there and they're running around kind of unsupervised. And I get how uh, parents uh, need a break from their kids perhaps. And when they get to a place like that, they just say, go play. And I'm gonna enjoy my time with my, my uh, city if another or, or my friends. So <clears throat> there were a couple of eight year old girls who was at the table next to me or really close to the stage and it's a metallic table. And uh, they were collecting rocks uh, and not just little pebbles, but rocks about the size of my hand. And while I was playing, they were pounding them on the table and on the tube that su supported the table. It was a high top. It was like a four inch tube. It was like a tubular bell. And when you hammer on it with a rock, it, it's very loud. And they were hammering <clears throat> kind of in time, but not in time. It's like, uh, it, it was very distracting. I had to look over and ask them to please stop. And they did, but they continued to collect rocks and occasionally drop them. And, and uh, I, was, I was on edge a bit, just kind of wondering when the next eruption was gonna be. It's kind of like Chinese torture, very distracting. Uh, my goal is to be like Steve Ray Vaughan, who's one of my, one of my favorite artists. He uh, played the Monterey Jazz Festival in, in France and before he, anyone knew who he was. <clears throat> He'd been booked there, and that night they were expecting slow, slow uh, acoustic jazz. And he comes in, if you know Stevie Rennie, I mean, he comes in and takes no prisoners. And they're booing him between sets. And you can watch this. The, the, the video is available. They recorded the entire concert. Somebody did. Uh, professionally recorded, not just with an iPhone. Of course, they didn't have iPhones then. But uh, it, it fully produced production of the concert. And the boos are raining down. And he just walks up the night, uh, to the mic and says, thank you very much, and goes into the next song, Harder Than Ever. And I mean, Stevie Ruban played hard, and he was playing really hard. And so my, I guess my level of uh, being able to deal with distractions is a Stevie Ray Vaughan level, and I'm not anywhere near that. But at the end of the night, I'm, uh, you know, I played for three hours and I'm <clears throat> packing up. And I always leave all my stuff on the stage behind me. I usually leave my keys on the stage. And the problem is I couldn't find my keys for like half an hour. I'm looking, I'm desperate. And I uh, wonder where did my keys go? And emptying out every bag, did I drop them in a bag? Finally, I go to the front desk and I said, anybody turn in keys? He says, yeah. One of, the, one of the little kids was running around and collecting all kinds of stuff, purses and keys and stuff. And we have it here. We've had it since five o'clock, which is about the time I arrived. And I'm like, Phew. Man, some people's kids. Anyway, another learning experience on the road.